these images from the Thames Valley in Oxfordshire unveil land use patterns that are in many ways characteristic of present-day rural England. There are a series of enclosed field systems set aside for growing crops and keeping livestock, and a small network of tracks and roads linked together an assortment of settlements and farmhouses. This type of landscape may appear to be a typical space of enduring, idyllic countryside, yet archaeologists and anthropologists are often keen to point out that these landscapes are by no means static entities. They have past lives that are entangled with different cultures, activities, social systems and political organisations that have all unfolded in unique ways over diverse timescales. So how can we catch a glimpse of these diverse human worlds? Well, it turns out they're right beneath our feet. These are the crop marks of Long Whittenham in Oxfordshire. They reveal the etchings of past livelihoods layered atop of each other in complex patterns forming some of the most extensive visible signs of past habitation in the Upper Thames Valley. These marks are created when subterranean archaeological features cause above-ground vegetation to grow at different rates. The analysis and interpretation of such crop marks is notoriously difficult. As seen from these images, they often display multiple phases of occupation and activity that are imprinted on top of each other in enigmatic ways. Given the complex nature of interpreting these marks, is there anything more we can say about those depicted in these images? Well, they occupy the area between Northfield Farm and Long Whittenham Village, and are surrounded on the north, west and east by a huge arcing meander of the River Thames. They were initially observed and plotted towards the end of the 18th century by the tenant farmer, Mr Henry Hewitt. The results of these observations were later consolidated in 1969 when further excavations were undertaken in response to potential gravel extraction in the area. The overall picture learned from these investigations remains somewhat patchy, but we may begin to construct a small window into the past based on these excavation reports. The backbone of these marks is a north-south running trackway, which can be traced for just over a kilometre and a half. The excavations indicate that this track was in use in the early Roman period in the 1st century AD, and it appears to link a range of settlements and smaller lanes. This offers a glimpse of a comprehensive system of communications and infrastructure which existed as a part of rural Romano-British landscapes. Many, if not all of the other crop marks in this area seem to predate this track and Roman settlements. There are several clusters of small circles which possibly indicate nuclei of prehistoric settlements. Excavations suggest that they are likely to be Iron Age as indicated by pottery styles, with circular enclosures appearing to resemble Iron Age huts excavated elsewhere in the Thames Valley, but this evidence is not yet conclusive. That all of these circular features are the remains of roundhouses is complicated by the fact that they vary greatly in form, size and associated excavated material. For example, a female burial was unearthed in a circle feature in the crop mark complex next to the Northfield farm, so it is possible that some of these ring ditches are the flattened remains of barrows. Whilst the long Whittenham crop marks remain highly enigmatic and help to highlight the caution that needs to be exercised when interpreting the past, they also provide a rather intriguing insight into the temporal nature of our landscapes reminding us of the diversity of human lifeways both past and present, and how these unfold in localised and dynamic ways through time.